Santeni sana wote kwa kwanza sherehe yetu na furaha ambayo inadirika basi ningemuomba kwa njia ya kipekee Papa Baroko aweze kumkaribisha askofu mkuu wa Chimbo la Nyeri aweze kutuongoza katika hii misa atatuambia ni nani kwa wale ambao ni wageni is grace Archbishop Anthony Moheria Let me start by saying that it's a blessing to have you in this church Many times we mentioned you and dreamed that one day you'll be here and as it said God's time is the best So I take this opportunity to say karibu sana all the way from Nyeri and for accepting our invitation We clap for Bishop Father Conrad, our counselor, Carmelite for Africa who lives in Rome. Father Conrad, just raise up your hand, just to be seen. Karibu sana. Father Conrad arrived yesterday morning and he came because of our brothers to be with us and to celebrate this great day with us. Our general delegate, Father Onesimus, who is also behind me here. Father Nesmas, we are happy to have you because it's through you that we can be here. You are our Father. You give us what we need spiritually. You guide us. And as we see our four brothers getting ordained, 
in fact is a blessing to all of us my dear priests who are around i know you are coming from far all the religious brothers and sisters christians from far ends different places of this country of kenya and my beyonds the christians of goroi parish where we are i take this opportunity to say a big and a warm welcome to all of you we know god has reasons for everything when i was outside there i met these two young girls who once found here and i was asking them with all the pmc we have we are the others and then i just discovered that this week it's actually today they are beginning the exams so i know we got different people from different places those who have left their office those who have left their work and the great people we have here in Goroi i can see you are around thank you so much for all the parents of our four brothers brother Eugene who is a deacon right now brother uh, Daniel the other deacon and brother Peter the other deacon together with our brother Emmanuel Chikoli to be ordained deacon i take this opportunity to tell you that we are celebrating you this morning and we really thank god for you it's not easy it's our very first time that we are having four ordinations in this church and we thank our lord of mount carmel through hangazations we have come to this far and i would like to say karibuni wote so that together we can enjoy thank god and feel blessed for this day his grace bishop karibu sana utanzishie ibada ya misa wa kristo wapenzi hamjambuni nyote tumsifu yesu kristo god is good all the time sasa siji huku mnasalimiana na namna gani eh serial hamujui and uh, zuba ai watu wamesahau haya wale wametoka pani e, mirembe mirembe bosi miru mirembe rudi mirembe swa <laughs> na wale wametoka ukambani mweaseo Mwase wingi mwa mgata asanta na watu wa wote wa jumuiya Mungu hamjambu tena Mkristo tumsifu Yesu Kristo Leo ni siku ya maana ni siku ya baraka kwa kanisa nzima na ni siku ya baraka kwa shirika la wanakamel ni siku njema ya wale vijana wanne wanapojongea altarini mwa Bwana kujibu mwaliko wake Mwenyezi Mungu kumtumikia katika altari takatifu ni siku ambayo sisi sote tukiiona tunarudia wito wa kila mmoja wetu sisi mapadre watawa wengine waliomo wa kike na wa kiume na hata miito wito wa jamaa wa familia wa baba mama yule aliyealikwa kuishi maisha ya kifamilia kurudia na kusindilia wito hule Mungu ametualika kwani kwa kusherekea wito wa upadre tunasherekea kuzaliwa kwao na malezi bora ya wito wa kifamilia. Ndio maana sote tukiungana hapa mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu katika sherehe kuu ni vyema tukiwaombea hawa wanne tumuulize Roho Mtakatifu atuguze sote tufanye upya ahadi zetu za wito ambao Mungu ametupa. Leo tunasherekea siku kuu ya mtakatifu Yohana wa msalaba John of the Cross ambaye aliongoza katika kanisa 
wito wa kumkaribia bwana kwa njia ya msalaba kujinyima na maandishi yaliyovutia ili tuweze kumtazama tukimtangazama bwana Mungu tukimo hapa contemplation of God on earth na kwa matumaini tukingojea kumtazama binguni tukisherekea kumuona uso kwa uso the beatific vision face to face with God sote tumeitwa kwa hii njia njia ambayo alituonyesha mtakatifu Yohana wa msalaba njia ya kuelekea mlima mtakatifu kumuona Mungu uso kwa uso basi sote wito wetu unalenga kumkaribia Bwana na leo katika ibada tunamkaribia kwa matendo ya kimungu ya juu zaidi ya kufanya binadam ashiriki katika umungu tuungane basi kwa roho moja ili sote tufike mlima mtakatifu kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu Neema ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu na upendo wa Mungu Baba na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu viwe nanyi nyote. Mtu akitaka kunitumikia anifuate asema Bwana na nilipo mimi mtumishi wangu atakuwapo pia ndugu zangu tukiri dhambi zetu ili tupate kustahilishwa kuadhimisha mafumbo matakatifu na muungamia Mungu mwenyezi nanyi ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa matendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana namuomba Maria mwenye heri bikira daima malaika na watakatifu wote nanyi ndugu zangu niombeeni Mungu mwenyezi atuhurumie Atusamehe dhambi zetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Hey, hey, hey.
Takatifu Yohane Padre aweze kujikana kikamilifu na kupenda msalaba kwa namna ya pekee utujalie ili kwa kumuiga daima kwa bidi tufikie kuona utukufu wako milele kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele First reading A reading from the prophet Isaiah Thus says the Lord who created you Jacob who formed you Israel Do not be afraid for I have redeemed you I have called you by your name you are mine Should you pass through the sea I will be with you or through rivers They will not swallow you up. Should you walk through fire, you will not be scorched. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Because you are precious in my eyes, because you are honored and I love you, I give men in exchange for you, peoples in return for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I'll bring your offspring from the east and gather you from the west. The word of the Lord. Our uh, responsorial psalm, the response is the night is as clear as the day. The night is as clear as the day. The night is as clear as the day. The is the still is the still is the
virgin I go from your spirit. Oh, where can I be from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I live in the grave, you are there. pili Siku hizo wakati idadi ya waamini ilipokuwa ikiongezeka sana palitokea manunguniko Wayahudi walioongea lugha ya Kigiriki walilalamika kuwa wakati wa kugawa chakula wajane walioongea Kiebrania walipendelewa na wajane wao walibaguliwa wale mitume kumi na wawili waliitisha kikao cha wanafunzi wote wakasema si sawa sisi tuache kazi ya kuhubiri neno la Mungu tuanze kugawa chakula kwa hiyo ndugu chagueni watu saba miongoni mwenu watu wenye sifa njema waliojawa na roho mtakatifu na hekima ili tuwakabidhi kazi hii na sisi tutatumia wakati wetu wa kuomba na kufundisha neno la Bwana uamuzi huu ukawaridhisha wote nao wakawachagua Stefano mtu aliyekuwa amejawa na imani na roho mtakatifu na Filipo Prokoro Nikanori na Timoni Parmena na Nikolao mwongovu kutoka Antokia wakawaleta watu hawa mbele ya mitume nao wakawaombea na kuwawekea mikono juu yao neno la Mungu tusimame kwa shangilio
and the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of the life. According to John, Holy Father, Holy Father, keep those you have given me true to your name, so that they may be one like us. Consecrate them in your truth. Your word is the truth. As you send me into the world, I have sent them into the world. And for their sake, I consecrate myself so that they too may be consecrated in the truth. I pray not only for this, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us, as you are in me and I am in you so that the world may believe it, it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one, so that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Basi kufikia hapo kapa ya umiria ya Skof Mku wataitwa na kuteuliwa ndugu zetu watakao pokea daracha siku hii ya leo ambapo tunaona kiti kinaletwa ambapo askofu mkuu atachungia awapokee na aweze kuwauliza nia yao Tuamwalika papa askofu achongee mbele na badri mkuu wa shirika aweze kuwaita ndugu zetu Yule ambaye atakayepewa daraja ya ushemasi ajunge hapa mbele brother Emmanuel Shikoli nipo
baba mheshimiwa mama kanisa takatifu aomba umpe huyu ndugu yetu madaraka ya ushemasi je wajua kama anastahili baada ya kuuliza wa Kristo na kupata udhibitisho wa watu wanaohusika na shuhudia kwamba anastahili kwa msaada wa Bwana Mungu na wa mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo tunamtembua huyo ndugu yetu apewe daraja ya ushemasi wote tuseme tunamshukuru Mungu wale watakaopokea daraja ya upadri wajenge mbele Daniel Chalo Nipo Peter Wafula Nipo tungea mbele na wao waweze kupata kuochiwa wadirishe nia yao baba mheshimiwa mama kanisa takatifu aomba uwape hawa ndugu zetu madaraka ya upadri je wajua kama wanastahili baada ya kuwauliza wa Kristo na kupata udhibitisho wa watu wanaohusika na shuhudia ya kwamba wanastahili kwa msaada wa Bwana Mungu na wa mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo tunawateua hawa ndugu zetu wapewe daraja ya upadri wa Kristo wapenzi tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tumsifu tena. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Nimekukomboa Nimekuita kwa jina lako mwenyewe wewe ni wangu Somo la kwanza Kitabu cha Nabii Zaia Anaye himiza ya kwamba ni Mungu ambaye anaita bwana Adamu ili amtumikie na ashiriki katika kazi anamteulia 
ya kueneza kazi ya Kristu mkombozi kuhani mkuu ya kulinda kondoo na kuendelea kutoa ibada kwa sababu ya ukombozi wa ulimwengu Leo wanangu wapendwa ambao mnajongea altarini mwa Bwana tajua kwamba sio kwamba mmebarikiwa zaidi na ujuzi wa akili sio kwamba nyinyi ndio watakatifu kati ya vijana wengine wa umri wenu na sio kwamba nyinyi mnastahili kuwepo hapa mbele na kuwekwa wakfu ili muwe watumishi wa Bwana altarini ila ni mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye amewachagua tangu kale kama vile twasoma papo hapo tu kabla hujazaliwa kabla hujatoka tumboni mwa mama wa mama yako na likujua na likutakaza nikakutuma ili uende na ukatangaze uende na ukatumike na papo hapo tukiruka kwa nabii Jeremiah anasema ah ah bwana mimi sijui kuongea mimi bado kijana naye Mungu anamjibu usiseme bado wewe kijana kwa wale nitakaokutuma utaenda na yale nitakaokuambia useme utayasema ni Mungu anatumbia chombo pasipo kuangalia chombo hiki ni cha aina gani amekichagua kile kimepasuka kikafungwa tena kama vile kwa kitamaduni inaitwaje Kenya ile guard ikipasuka sinashonwa hello nyinyi kwenye don't you have guards which carries porridge when it cracks do you throw it away it is sown and it's sown carefully by the guard sewers and it still retains the edge the gruel it may be very very ugly but the gruel inside is just as delicious You are vessels of clay my sons. Broken vessels made of nothingness. But yet you will be carrying the most precious content to the people of God, first and foremost God himself, the Eucharist. God himself in the word. God himself in the graces of the sacraments. And then you become the Holy Spirit's gifts and the fruits goodness kindness love patience You will be God among the people you continue being Emmanuel God with us through your presence as a priest as a deacon And so the fast is that you did not choose him and you are not here because you are worthy because he chose you i have redeemed you i have called you by your name i don't know what is the name you receive when you are a baby or a boy young i don't know what they call you at home that nickname that loving name is the name is the name god has called you so that you may feel his love his predilection And so my son you will lie before here on this floor on the floor of the church you will be at the same level with the dirt on this church you put your head and your mouth on the floor 
in a gesture of humility, in a gesture of self-emptying, in a gesture that you accept that God uses this vessel that you are. And by the way, we are not saying that you are rubbish. No, God has given you certain qualities. But what is that compared with what God wants that you be a servant of? Empty in yourself in an act of humility so that you may be service. So that you can be carpet for people to step on. So that you can be fully filled with his divinity as the hands are imposed on you. This gesture, my son, signifies humility, the characteristics that you should try to cultivate. Humility, simplicity, detachment. You no longer belong to this world, although you are of the world. You belong to godliness. As St. Paul tells us, your life is hidden with Christ in God. Colossians. From the time the hands are laid on you, your life is hidden, is grafted, is intertwined with Christ in God. In God's life and service. From the moment you receive the graces of the sacrament, then like St. Paul and like St. John the Baptist, you must disappear. It is not I who live but Christ who lives in me and we can add through me. My sons, my sons, humility, it is not you. My sons, again, simplicity. Don't complicate. Jesus Christ is very simple. Very simple. On the cross, he doesn't even have the robes. He's naked and detachment only for God for you O Lord are my portion you are my inheritance and so leo tukihudhuria na tukishuhudia kujitolea kwa hawa vijana kulingana na wito ambao wamealikwa na Kristo tunawalika wawe wamejitolea kabisa wametoa yote yao wenyewe ili Kristo aweze kujawa na kujazwa katika maisha na kila pende kila kiungo cha mwili na fikira maono matumaini mipangilio yote watakapoamka hapa wao wamewachia kama altarini sadaka safi vile Wimbo umeimbwa sala ya maisha yangu yote ibada ya maisha yangu yote bwana na kuomba ni kama sadaka ya kuchoma itolewe mbele yako hewe Mwenyezi Mungu my sons it's very attractive ideally but very difficult practically very difficult because the devil does not sleep. He knows that the moment he gets one of us who serves God and brings him down and topples him over, he does not gain only one soul. If I go to hell, for sure I'll bring very many people too to hell. The devil knows. So when he knows and traps the priests and the bishops, 
He knows he's going to trap a huge cohort of people. So he doesn't slip. Because you've been born in Christ, St. Paul to the Colossians. Desire the things of above. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things. There is a bird that is very popular, especially in Europe, called a cuckoo. Cuckoo. They exist here too. Najuyo ndege inasema, cuckoo! 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 Na hata usiku mzima inaweza kwa ikisema tu hivyo. Cuckoo! 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 Nindege, ukiyuna ya pendeza nata ina inaweza ku kukuvutia lakini ni ndege mjanja na jambazi is the most crooked bird most crooked inangojea it waits for the other birds which make their nests and it is checking out which bird is making a nest and it makes a nest or oh, this one is making a nest and then when it sees that that bird has finished the nest is about to lay its eggs inajitarisha kutega mayai and when that bird has laid the egg and is going to it's three or four eggs and it has gone to look for food in dege mjanja jambazi kuku anaingia nyumbani kwa huyu he goes she goes and lays the eggs and then pushes out the other eggs of the other bird they fall down they break na naacha mayai yake tatu and it flies away poor dege this other little bird comes finds the eggs anaangalia hivi anaona ai na yeye ni mjanja kwa sababu anajua vile mayai ya huyu ndege anatega yanakuwa na hako na kompyuta anafanya mayai yake ikaribie mayai ya huyu ndege ametega so ndege anakuja anasema azi azi niliwacha mayai lakini inaonekana ai kama yangu lakini sio yangu hai dhuru nakalia But the cuckoo chicks are more ferocious and bigger. The cuckoo bird is about this big, but it lays eggs in the birds that are much smaller. So what a ndege asumbuke kutapatia chakula hii wakitokezea. Na na hii imekuwa kubwa. They are very big. These are not like mine. Lakini hai dhuru Mungu amenibarikia. Ndege anafanya kazi napatia hawa watu hawashibi kwa sababu ni inakuwa kadogo kifaranga ndogo lakini kubwa mpaka nachoka that is what the devil does with us finally these little chicks become bigger than the mother shetani muovu anajua leo tumetengeneza we've made that nest the nest for Christ the nest for goodness the nest of humility the nest of patience the nest of simplicity the nest of detachment kini huyu huyu mjanja shetani anakuja na mayai punde tu sipunde mtafurahia anakuja ameangalia kuona kama anaweza ingia huko atege mayai yake na hiyo mayai ikitegwa The, the little chicks as well if the mother did not push all the eggs they hatch before the others and those chicks wakiwa dogo wako na instinct ya ujanja na ujambazi hao wenyewe wanasukuma wenzao hiyo mayai hajapasuka nje that's what the devil will do to us yes you are humble but there will be some characters who come and tell you ah wewe tu unaweza kuwa padre tu just a father just a father that is not worth it kuja nikuonyeshe 
ni kuonyesha njia za kuungana na wakubwa viongozi wanaotawala njoo sifa kwako father shetani yule tu did god say that you should not eat that tree ah mungu ni waajabu hiyo ni uongo ya mungu he knows if you eat you be like god sifa kwako father sifa kwako deacon kwacha kuwa mwenyekevu sana jitokeze uonekane mayai kubwa simplicity ulikuwa kijana ambaye hana ma, ma pantangilio ma unakuwa kijana anayependeza ha, hana complication hana waiting room acha ukue father na wewe unataka nini umetoka wapi wewe baba yako ndio nani na mtoto wako kuna ngapi na leo kwa kanisa you become a bureaucrat a man who doesn't love with the heart of Jesus but loves like St Peter says by imposition like a king sifa kwako father sifa kwako deacon mayai kubwa ya kiburi you are simple desiring simplicity sasa uwezi lala kwa kwa nyumbani kwa nyumbani hapa na lazima ulale kwa kitanda mzuri na gondoro nzuri na viatu lazima tutoe kwa ile standard tulikuwa sasa tuinuke kidogo we start looking for complication in life and the devil catches us in those and immediately after you get you lose simplicity you get the egg of greed unataka yangu ni kama yule mtoto amezaliwa peke yake kwa jumbani anataka kila kitu anataka toy anataka hii anataka hii yangu 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 na ukichukua hii moja anaanza kulia my sons what kills us all what destroys our self given is one greed desire to possess to control the desire to be in to be the center and this my sons is a devil the devil who catches us and today unfortunately we the clergy we the clergy are prisoners of greed are prisoners of luxury while our brothers before us did everything they had to serve the people we are often been pulled to take everything from the people and give them nothing nothing of their time nothing of their of service we can't go to their places when the car breaks down i can't go for the mass when our brothers walked long distances oh no i stand for lunch i can't go to give anointing to the sick nitakuja i remember once once when i was 1993 i was a young priest i know i was busy i was very tired in the morning i got a call now so so and so is sick in kikuyu hospital very sick he's asking to be anointed and i remember very clearly i said i was just about going to go to go for lunch i said okay let me have lunch i will go and it was nothing wrong it was a fair thing i went i had lunch i went to my car and i drove to kitui uh, to kitui my god to kikuyu e kitui meningia mbaya hii kitu imeningia mpaka kwa mifupa ilikuwa kule kikuyu i draw i remember i reached at quarter to three in the hospital and as i came out of my car i found the sister of the person who was sick and she told me father he has just passed away 
I felt like my heart was cut. Because I know I had argued with myself. Do I eat or do I go first? I don't think I sinned. But I felt how I wish I'd been available truly. Truly. Did I eat my lunch? But my lunch was important to me. I was young, energetic, priest. And I needed lunch. My sons, a choice will be made. When you have to choose your people, service, or yourself. You are lying here. Let the eggs, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the self-given, the sacrifice, be the ones which hatch. And don't let that little rascal, the cuckoo, the devil, even enter your nest. How do you do that, my son? Through staying close to the only one who can make and give you security and insurance. Our Lord Jesus Christ who has called you. Let him fill that nest. Don't let go. The cuckoo comes when you leave the nest. When the nest is unattended. When your life has breaks to let the devil enter. My sons, today on the feast of John the Cross, John of the Cross, who told us indeed that this journey, he knows in many quotations, he speaks in many ways about that river to which you must cross and the boat that you must use is sufferings. About that mountain that you must climb. And anyone who wants to climb up to the mountain must use the cane of the cross. Up this holy mountain. And you must be detached from the things of the world. Like Jesus Christ on the cross. That's your brand. That's your brand. Look up to him. He's a king. But he has a crown of thorns. He's serving and he's rich. But he only has a loincloth because they've stripped him of everything. He's up on the cross. He seems defeated, a paradox. But he's the most victorious. Contemplate him. Climb up the holy mountain. Contemplate Christ. In the Eucharist, in a very special way. Watu wa Mungu sio kwamba tu ni hao ambao wanaalikwa kuja kuta kumtazama kumkumbatia kukaa na Kristo katika Ekaristia. Njooni katika jua la Kristo mkuje mje muote jua ya upendo come bask in the sun of love so that you may be filled with love in the Eucharist. My sons, spend time next to the Eucharist. Be addicted to the Eucharist. Find yourself unsettled until you spend some hours every day, at least one hour, with our Lord in the Eucharist. Then, that little rascal will never find a nest to lay an egg. If you are filled with Christ, there will be no space for those other earthly attractions. My son, serve at the Eucharist. And don't just serve like a servant who doesn't know what his master is doing. Serve in a prayerful state. As you prepare that altar, Leave their prayers as you spread the corporal. As you prepare the chalice, let the Lord find a preparation like that stable, like that manger that Mary and Joseph prepared. It was not worthy because it had pieces of broken wood and rotten. As you prepare the altar, let your heart be there on the one who will come. 
so that he may find your acts of love on that altar. He may find the desires. Even though we know you are not worthy, Lord, you are coming to us. We are not worthy. Pokea tu ile ndogo tumekutolea. Pokea tu hapa altari yetu haijafa, lakini karibu kwetu tubariki. Let it not be just a bureaucratic opening of the corporal. Bureaucratic pouring of the wine in the chalice. Let the Lord find your love there. My sons, as you distribute communion, I remember I had the joy of accompanying John Paul II, St. John Paul II in a mass. And what a joy it was for me. It was a gift. I will never, I didn't deserve it. But I by chance, I would say it's a chance. God prepares things differently. I happened to be asked to serve that simple mass of John Paul II. And I was there as he was giving communion to those who were attending. Holding the pattern as a master of ceremonies. And I could hear in the depth of his heart, he prayed aloud normally. He was saying things in Polish as he was disobedient. Corpus Christi, and down under his breath, he said, No, oh, go am Jesu. Then I always ask, What's this thing that he's saying? So after listening, I recorded in my head. And I had a Polish classmate. So I went and asked him, You know, I had someone, I didn't tell him who, because I was not supposed to say that I had been in this mass. So this is top secret, so I got top secret. That I was with someone who was saying a words like Koham Cho Jesu. What does that mean? And he told me, no. That says, Jesus, I love you. Now when the Pope was distributing communion, he was still speaking to Jesus. You don't have to say it aloud, my son. Otherwise people will say, oh, mwendo wazimu kidogo. But with your heart, with your heart, be addicted to the Eucharist. Let the Eucharist be your center. My sons, the brand of the cross. It may be repugnant like St. Paul says, but for us priests, we are attracted to the cross. And for you on this feast of St. John of the Cross, what better example you have than St. John of the Cross? Now that I have been caught by this nimeshikwa na hii ya ndege birds nitamalizia na ndege mwingine My sons these people long to see the face of Christ in you the face of Christ and the hands of Christ those hands my sons will be blessed will be anointed just let's see them Yes, your hands. Look at them. Those hands are the hands of Christ going forward. And the hands of Christ are open on the cross. They are never a clenched fist. Ever. Christ does not clench his fists. Is a hand open to lift. Is a hand open to tenderly console. Is a hand ready to bless. And you never bless like this, my son. Never bless like this. Never. The hand is open when you bless. Let it be like this fantastic rays of Jesus in his divine mercy stretching out to the people. They expect to see that face of mercy from you. There is a bird called a hoopoe bird. Na iko hapa kumasaini sana. Ni ndege ambayo iko brown kidogo na ina mistari ndogo ndogo na hapa kwa kichwa iko na kofia. Inaendelea alafu inafanya kwips nafunguka. Alafu inafunga. Mmeshaiona? Mnaijua? Skoda hupo bad. Kwa mbali iko iko na urembo, si ndio? Hiyo iko na urembo lakini iko shida moja. Hiyo iko na shida. It does not know hygiene. This bird does not know hygiene. Kwa hivyo in its nest inafanya mambo yote. Na watoto wake hata ikiwa kwa huko kwa nest wanachanganya na hiyo mvitu yote. So this bird has got a characteristic they stink. 
kutoka mbali rembo wa kanafanya hivyo anasema wa that that is beautiful ukikaribia inanuka stinks but stinks terribly like rotten meat my sons you can look very beautiful like you are today look i look beautiful don't i look don't they look beautiful their chassis boys god forbid that when you come close to me you discover i stink because of my life of immorality because of my lack of being a shepherd and caring because i have no love as we left in the gospel love is the smell that attracts the people of god and those who don't know him god forbid that people do not know christ do not are not attracted to christ because i stink may this bird be beautiful from far and from near my sons these are the virtues these are our desires these are acts of mercy these are open hands the mass like saint like uh, pope francis tells us the smell of the sheep is actually the smell of the shepherd it's not only the shepherd smelling like the sheep but make the sheep smell like the shepherd with the love of god this is the challenge you have i've gone beyond my time i'm sorry i have to conclude how can we conclude without calling our mother into the presence how can we conclude for carmelites if indeed you are going up to mount carmel in prayer you are going to mount carmel in sacrifice you must do so to climb this mountain with mary mary was at the path of jesus on his way to calvary mary was at the foot of the cross when jesus was offering the sacrifice at calvary mary was in a waiting as jesus rose from the dead and mary was there when the mission was given to the apostles and mary accompanied the apostles on their path of mission stay close to mary and she will be the second insurance that this little rascal will not enter your nest that you will remain simple like the blessed virgin mary handmaid servant of god then you are insured but that is not just a sentimental attachment to mary it must be a real attachment to mary your rosary must be as well constantly with you not just hanging in your habits but constantly with you use moments to pray the rosary to ask for graces use moments to look at the images of our lady that you have in your room in the places where you have and you serve see aspirations ask her to come to help you when things are tough ask her to help you out when temptations come ask her mother help me like the little children who when they are scared they run to their mothers and they cry mommy that is what we must do then you are doubly secured then you be faithful then you go old whether healthy or not you stay as you have promised and will promise today faithful to he who has called you do not be afraid we heard several times in the readings do not be afraid our words of the scripture allow me to use them when our mother mary tells you my son don't be afraid when the thunderstorm is there don't be afraid i am here am i not here your mother our mother of guadalupe who we celebrated two days ago am i not here your mother who cares for you why are you afraid then she walk with us may we pray for this for 
new ministers of God. But my dear people of God, let us pray for all priests and all bishops so that we may not go back on the promises we made on our ordination. So that this little rascal may not find space to lay eggs in our hearts and in our lives. Wazazi wetu, mwenyezi mungu wa bariki, awongezi, furaha, neema, na hata katika familia, baraka tele, ambazo sisi ya wezi atuwezi kamwe, ata kutambua. Na hivyo, mtakuwa wazazi wa kristo. Na hiyo kristo mwenyewe, ata kuja kudumu katika familia zenyo. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tunyamase kidogo tutafakai hayo tumeyasikia kutoka kwa baba askofu. Asanteni. Kipindi kinachofuata ni cha kuochiwa hawa ndugu tukianzia Mashemasi Mteule atachungia mbele ya Papa Askofu na Papa Askofu atamuuliza maswali atakayoyachibu ili tupate kujua nia yake Asanteni. Kipindi kinachofuata ni cha kuochiwa hawa ndugu tukianzia Mashemasi Mteule atachungia mbele ya Papa Askofu na Papa Askofu atamuuliza maswali atakayoyachibu ili tupate kujua nia yake. Mwanangu Mwana mpendwa sana Kabla hujajongea kupewa daraja ushemasi ya pasa kudhihirisha mbele za watu nia yako ya kupokea madaraka hayo Basi ji Mwanangu Wataka kuwekwa wakfu kwa ajili ya huduma ya kanisa kwa kuwekewa mikono yangu na kwa roho mtakatifu nataka je wataka kutekeleza huduma ya shemasi kwa unyenyekevu na upendo kama msaidizi wa mapadre na kwa maendeleo ya taifa la Kikristo nataka je wataka kama alivyosema mtume kuishika siri ya imani katika dhamiri safi na hiyo imani kuihubiri kwa maneno na matendo kadri ya injili na mapokeo ya kanisa nataka Je, wataka kujitoa mhanga kwa Bwana Yesu na kutunza daima nia hii kwa ajili ya ufame wa mbinguni katika huduma ya Mungu na wanadamu? Nataka. Je, wataka kulinganisha bila kuku, bila kukoma maisha yako na mfano wa Kristo? ambaye mwili na damu yake utaviguza altarini kwa msaada wa Mungu nataka mwanangu je wakidi kumpa mkuu wa shirika yako na wote watakao kuja baada yake 
heshima na utii na ahidi basi Mungu alianzisha ndani yako hilo tendo jema mwenyewe alitimize ya hapo watachungia mapadi wateule na wao waweze kuochiwa na baba askofu wanangu wapendwa kabla hamjajongea kupewa daraja upadri ya wapasa kuhidhirisha mbele za watu nia zenyu ya kupokea madaraka hayo basi wanangu je mwataka kutimiza daima kazi ya kikuhani katika ngazi ya upadri kama wasaidizi wa menifu wa maaskofu katika kulichunga kundi la Bwana mkiongozwa na roho mtakatifu nataka 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 je mwataka kutekeleza huduma ya neno kwa kuhubiri injili na kufafanua imani katoliki kwa uchaji na busara nataka 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 je mwataka kuadhimisha mafumbo ya Kristo kwa ibada na uaminifu kulingana na mapokeo ya kanisa kwa namna ya pekee sadaka ya Kristo na sakramenti ya upatanisho kwa utukufu wa Mungu na kwa utakatifu wa taifa la Mungu nataka 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 je mwataka pamoja nasi kumuomba Mungu huruma yake kwa ajili ya kundi mtakabidhiwa kuhudumu katika kutimiza agizo la kusali bila kuchoka nataka 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 je mwataka kujiunga zaidi siku hadi siku na Kristu kuhani mkuu ambaye alijitoa mwenyewe kwa baba kuwa sadaka safi kwa ajili yetu na pamoja naye kujiweka wakfu kwa Mungu kwa ajili ya wokovu wa watu kwa msaada wa Mungu nataka kwa msaada wa Mungu nataka kwa msaada wa Mungu nataka basi hawa ndugu wanachongea mbele ya baba askofu mmoja mmoja waaidi utii mwanangu je waahidi kumpa mkubwa wa shirika lako pamoja na waandamizi wake heshima na utii na ahidi Mungu alianzisha ndani yako hilo tendo njema mwenyewe alitimize mwanangu je waahidi kumpa mkubwa wa shirika lako pamoja na waandamizi wake 
heshima na utii na ahidi basi Mungu alianzisha ndani yako hilo tendo njema mwenyewe alitimize Mwanangu je waahidi kumpa mkubwa wa shirika lako na waandamizi wake heshima na utii na ahidi basi Mungu alianzisha ndani yako hilo tendo njema mwenyewe alitimize kufikia hapa mkeka utaletwa na wote wane wanachiandaa kulala chini ili wote tunapoalikwa na papa askofu kuwaombea tutapiga magoti ndugu wapendwa Tumuombe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi awamiminiwe kwa huruma neema ya baraka yake. Hawa watumishi wake aliopenda kuwaita katika daraja takatifu ya ushemasi na upadre. Sikiliza kwa huruma maombi yetu na yale tunayopaswa kutekeleza katika huduma yetu wewe ulie mwema yategemeze kwa msaada wako watakatifuze kwa baraka yako hawa wana wako tunaoamini kuwa wanafaa kwa kutolewa ili watimize huduma hii takatifu tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu. Anapochungia mbele ya Baba Askofu Shemasi Mteule ili aweze kuwekewa mikono na Baba Askofu na baadaye sala ya kuwekwa wakfu. Shemasi anapiga magoti. Ni Papa Askofu peke yake atamwekea mikono.
Uwe nasi ya Mungu Mwenyezi. Kulie mtuaji wa neema zote na mgawaji wa kila daraja ya mapaji ya huduma. Wewe huishi milele na kuvifanya upya vitu vyote. Kwa maongozi yako ya daima huyapanga yote na kwa njia ya neno lako ndiye mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Aliye nguvu na hekima yako wayatimiza makusudi ya upendo wako katika nyakati zote. Wewe uliunda kanisa lako lililo mwili wa Kristo lenye tofauti ndani yake kwa wingi wa mapaji ya binguni na lililo unganishwa katika viungo vyake mbali mbali na umoja wa ajabu kwa njia ya Roho Mtakatifu. Nawe umelijalia lijengwe na kukua kama hekalu jipya kwa njia ya daraja tatu za huduma zilizowekwa nawe kwa utumishi wa jina lako. Hapo mwanzo uliwateua waana walawi ili watekeleze huduma ya hema ile ya kwanza. Vivyo hivyo mwanzoni mwa kanisa lako mitume wa mwanao wakiongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu waliwachagua watu saba walioshuhudiwa kuwa wenye kuwa wema wapate kuwasaidia katika huduma ya kila siku ili wenyewe waweze kudumu zaidi katika kuomba na kulihubiri neno la Mungu Akisha wateua hawa watu kwa kuomba na kuwawekea mikono waliwakabidhi huduma ya meza Sasa e Bwana tunakuomba usikilize sala zetu Mtazame kwa wewe mtumishi wako tunayemweka wakfu katika daraja ya ushemasi ili atumikie katika altari yako takatifu E Bwana tunakuomba uwashushie roho mtakatifu ili aimarishwe kwa neema ya mapaji yako saba apate kutekeleza kwa uaminifu kazi ya kuhudumia awe mfano bora wa fadhila zote za kiinjili mwenye pendo lisilo na unafiki mwenye bidii kwa wagonjwa na walio fukara mnyenyekevu katika cheo chake mwenye moyo mnyofu na ulio safi muaminifu katika nidhamu ya kiroho katika tabia yake yangae maagizo yako ili kwa mfano wa mwenendo wake apate wafuasi katika taifa lako takatifu naye akitegemea ushuhuda mwema wa dhamiri adumu kuwa imara na dhabiti katika Kristu hadi siku ambayo baada ya kumuiga mwana wako hapa duniani aliyekuja si kwa kutumikiwa mbali kwa kutumikia astahiri kutawala naye huko mbinguni anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele sasa huyu ndugu mshemasi tuketi anapofarishwa nafasi yake rasmi ya kutumikia katika altari makofi mengi mengi tunaomba yura naye mfika nafasi yake achongee makofi mengine mengi mengi wanakoa wimbo anapofarishwa Kiregera kina mama tumshangilie
Pokea injili ya Kristu ambayo umewekwa kuwa mhubiri wake. Angalia usadiki hayo utakayosoma. Ufundishe hayo utakayosadiki ukashike hayo utakayofundisha Mapadre wateule na watachongea mbele ya baba askofu watapiga magoti baba askofu atayewekea mikono na watafuata wakuu wa shirika na mapadri wote waliopo hapa kapa ya sala ya kwekwa wakfu mtakatifu wimbo wa roho mtakatifu kwa sauti ndogo pekee
uwe nasi e bwana baba mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele wewe ulia asili ya hadhi ya mwanadamu na mgawaji wa neema zote kwa kwa wewe ulimwengu wote wanufaika kwa kwa wewe vitu vyote vinaimarika wewe ambaye kwa ajili ya kuliunda taifa la kikuhani wapanga wa hudumu wa Kristu mwanao kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu katika ngazi mbali mbali ndani yake ndivyo katika agano ya kale kazi zilivyoanza na kukua kwa namna ya ajabu alipowaweka Musa na Haruni kutawala na kutakatifuza watu wako uliwachagua watu katika ngazi na hadhi mbali mbali chini yao kwa ajili ya jamii na utendaji wao ndivyo pia kule jangwani ulivyoeneza roho ya Musa kwa njia ya watu sabini wenye busara wakawa wasaidizi wake miongoni mwa watu hata akaweza kutawala kwa urahisi zaidi kundi lako ndivyo ulivyowajalia waana wa Haruni ukamilifu kwa ukuhani ukamilifu wa ukuhani wa baba yao ili waweko makasisi wa kutosha kutoa sadaka za hemani ambazo zilikuwa mfano wa mambo yatakayokuja kukidhi hadhi inayolingana kwa mujibu wa sheria ya kikuhani na hatimaye katika utimilifu wa nyakati baba mwema ulimtuma mwanao duniani yani Yesu Kristu aliyemfalme na mshenga wa imani yetu yeye alijitoa kwako kwa njia ya roho mtakatifu sadaka safi sio na doa na ukawafanya mitume wake uliowatakaza katika ukweli washiriki utume wake hao nao uliwaongezea waandamizi wa kutangaza neno lako na kufanya kazi ya kueneza wokovu kwa dunia nzima sasa tunaomba e bwana katika unyonge wetu utujalie msaidizi asaidizi hawa wetu ambaye tunawahitaji katika utendaji wetu wa ukuhani wa kitume e baba mwenyezi tunakuomba uwape hawa watumishi wako hadhi ya upadre utie upya roho ni mwao roho wa utakatifu usimamie kazi ya daraja la pili ambao wamepokea kutoka kwako e Mungu na kwa maisha yao wawe mfano wa madidi wawe wasaidizi wetu wema ili maneno ya injili ya zae matunda katika mioyo ya watu na ya eneo hadi mipaka ya dunia kwa njia ya mahubiri yao kwa neema ya roho mtakatifu pamoja nasi wawe magawaji mwaninifu wa mafumbo yako kusudi taifa lako liumbwe upya kwa kuoshwa na kuzaliwa kwa mara ya pili na lilishwe altarini pako wagonjwa wa harijike wawe daima na ushirika nasi e bwana kwa kusihi huruma yako kwa ajili ya watu waliokabidhiwa kwao na pia kwa dunia nzima na hivyo mataifa yote yapate kukusanywa katika Kristu na kuwa taifa lako lililo mmoja tu na lifikie utimilivu wake katika ufalme wako tunaomba hayo kwa 
manji aya yesu kristu mwanao anaishi na kutawala nawe katika moja wa roho mtakatifu mungu daima na milele basi kufika mwisho kwa hiyo sala nidirisho kwamba ni mapadri wape makofi wanaposimama kufarisha mafasi yao rasmi tuwapongeze tena pendeze tumshukuru Mungu tena chongea mbele ya baba askofu mmoja mmoja waweze kupakwa mafuta matakatifu na Yesu ambaye baba alimpaka mafuta kwa roho mtakatifu na nguvu akulinde kwa ajili ya kuwatakasa wa Kristu na kumtolea Mungu sadaka Bwana Yesu Kristu ambaye baba alimpaka mafuta kwa roho mtakatifu na nguvu akulinde kwa ajili ya kuwatakasa wa Kristu na kumtia Mungu sadaka Bwana Yesu Kristu ambaye baba alimpaka mafuta kwa roho mtakatifu na nguvu akulinde kwa ajili ya kuwatakasa wa Kristu na kumtolea mu sadaka Nikwisha kupakwa mafuta matakatifu ya Krisma na baada ya hapo askofu akina mikono watapewa dabiu zitakazo tolewa wimbo wanakuwa
nafasi mmoja mmoja tena wanapatiwa adhabu watakazo kuwa wanastoa tarehe pokea dhabihu kutoka kwa watu za kumtolea Mungu fahamu hayo utakayotenda fuata hayo utakayofanya patandisha maisha yako na fumbo la msalaba wa Bwana Pokea dhabihu kutoka kwa watu za kumtolea Mungu. Fahamu hayo utakayotenda. Fuata hayo utakayofahamu. Patanisha maisha yako na fumbo la msalaba wa Bwana. pokea dhabihu kutoka kwa watu za kumtolea Mungu fahamu hayo utakayotenda fuata hayo utakayofanya patanisha maisha yako na fumbo la msalaba wa Bwana basi kufikia hapo askofu atawapa wote amani tukimwalika na shemasi waweze kusimama hapa wapongeze na baba askofu baada ya kutawamba wakuu wa shirika wengine tunawaomba tutawapongeza tukiwa pale nje wimbo wa nakwaya hapa tunawaomba mtu achongea wale ambao tumewafarisha chongea muwapongeze
nataka kuwa kawaza wanafunzi miguu ili kupata sisi kielelezo Tunakuomba uvipoke vipaji vya utumishi wetu na utujalie ili kwa kujitoa sisi wenyewe kwa dhabihu ya kiroho tujaziwe roho ya unyenyekevu na juhudi kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu Bwana awe nami kufana la kuleta wokovu tukushukuru wewe daima na poho pote e bwana baba ulie mtakatifu mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya kristu bwana wetu Yeye aliye kuhani wa kweli na wa milele alipoweka utaratibu wa sadaka hii ya kuhudumu alijitoa wa kwanza kwa kafala ya kuleta wokovu akatuagiza na sisi tuitoe kwa kumkumbuka yeye na si tunaimarishwa uliotolewa sadaka kwa ajili yetu na tunataka kwa tuinyapo damu yake iliyomwagika kwa ajili yetu kwa sababu hiyo sisi pamoja na malaika na malaika wako pamoja na viti vya enzi na mihiliki na majeshi yote ya malaika wa binguni twaimba utenzi wa utukufu wako tu kisema bila mwisho na kawapo wafuasi wake akisema Tuwaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya na la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Fumbo la imani Yesu Kristo alikuwa Yesu Kristo alipokuwa Yesu Kristo alikuja kwetu tena Yesu Kristo alikuja kwetu Kwa hiyo e bwana 
tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa matese ya mwanao yaletao wokovu pamoja na ufufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu Tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye alitaka kutuliza na sadaka ya kifo chake utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kwa kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo Yeye alitupanga sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu la milele ili tuweze kupata uridhi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na Bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake uyo Bikira na mitume wake yenye heri na washahidi wako watukufu pamoja na mtakatifu Yohane wa Msalaba na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msahada wa maombezi yao mbele zako. Tunakuomba e bwana hawa uli, hawa huyu aliye kafara ya upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote upende kulimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako lililosafiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco askofu wetu John Obala Owa na bishop wetu ambaye tunaye siku ya leo bishop muheria pamoja na maaskofu wote na hawa watumishi wako ulio wateua wewe wahudumu wa kanisa kwa kuwa hapa leo daraja ya ushemasi na upadri na waklero wote na watu wote uliowafanya kuwa taifa lako Usikilize kwa wema wako sala za jamaa hii uliyoita hapa mbele yako e bwana ulie mtakatifu kwa huruma yako uwakusanye wote wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani Uwapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote waliaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza. Nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa njia Kristo Bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia yake unaujalia ulimwengu mema yote. kwa njia yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele mokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu 
tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako upike zakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni tupelea mkati wetu wa kila siku samehe makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamehe na sisi walio tukosea usitujie katika kishawishi e bwana tunakuomba utupoe katika maovu yote tujalie kwa hema amani maishani mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tupolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri la ujiwa mokozi wetu Yesu Kristo E bwana Yesu Kristo uliyewaambia mitume wako amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa usitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala milele na milele amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi mpeane amani Peace of Christ. Tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu tazama aondoae dhambi za ulimwengu heli yao waliwalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo e bwana Israeli ndiye kwangu nilisema neno moja tu 
Christo nilindeni pate uzima Baba mtakatifu watakase katika ukweli kama ulivyo nituma mimi ulimwenguni nami nimewatuma hao ulimwenguni asema Bwana chakula na kinywaji cha binguni ili katika kupania utukufu wako na wokovu wa waamini watambulikane kuwa watumishi wa aminifu wa injili wa sakramenti na wa mapendo kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu baba askofu ili popote waendapo wahakikishe wanayakumbuka tutamuomba baba askofu atachongea wakiwa pamoja na mapadri wapya na shemasi waweze kutia saa hii katika vieti vyao askofu atabarikiwa kwanza na mabadi wapya ndipo awape vieti mabadi wapya tuchongea hapa mbele tuweze kumpariki baba askofu intercession of all the kind like saints we pray that the lord may bless your work the lord may continue extending his presence in you that you may share in the treasure of his love his mercy and his peace and may the almighty god bless you the father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Makofu mengine mengi mengi. Huyo kadri ni mrefu sana. Makofu yake mengine mengi mengi. Ah, mengine. Ah, 
trying to I trying to na shemas na atapatiwa yake tumuombe sana makofi mengi mengi asante makofi sasa tunaomba mmoja wao atakaye toa shukrani atachongea hapa kabla tuambie mambo mengine tutakayoyafanya yule anayetoa shukrani kwa kuomba uchongee Mungu ni mema na kila wakati kweli kwa kweli Mungu ni mwema sisi tumeshuhudia hayo katika safari yetu ya upadri na ushemasi wa ndugu yangu Emmanuel na letu katika midomo yetu na katika roho zetu ni kusema asante kwa Mungu na asante kwenu nyinyi wote kwa njia moja au nyingine niletuwezesha kwanza kabisa niseme kwa ndugu zangu Father Eugene Father Peter become Emmanuel and myself congratulations on the rain sana <laughs> Niseme kwamba kweli tunashuhudia ukuu wa Mungu na basi shukrani zetu za kwanza zinamwendea Mwenyezi Mungu kama ingekuwa na Mungu basi atungeweza lakini Mungu ametuwezesha na basi tunasema ni asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu Toa Bishop Ilya Grace Anthony Moria when our superior came to you you never said no we really appreciate and we carry with us the words that when we met you say that you are getting into our history in a way that we will never forget and for sure we will not forget asante sana Tola kama light hoda eh uh, recognizing the absence of our father general niho but represented fully by our african councilor father contra and the courier we say asante sana asante sana to our delegation and to the general delegate in Kenya Father Onesmus and your council Father Bonfas and Father Joseph Asante sana kwa kuchukua wakati wenu mmesema kwamba mliuliza wa Kristo sisi hatukujua na kazi nyingi ambazo mliofanya na mkaona kwamba tunastahili tunasema shukrani sana to our brothers priests in the hoda of Carmelite and our brothers who are in formation we really appreciate for what you do to us and you give us life even at times when we come back to the community tired and almost despairing but with our sharing you give us life again so tunasema asanteni sana to our dear priests asante to our dear priests and especially our parish priests together with our parishioners back at home we really say thank you sana kutoka mukumu tunasema asante sana kutoka weguye tunasema asante sana kutoka mukura tunasema asante sana kutoka kawa asante asante together with the changosi reloaded Our dear priest friends and classmates at Tangaza Consolata we appreciate for your presence and for committing yourself to come to witness our ordination and lay hands on us so that we can partake in this succession apostolic succession Asante ni sana 
Kwa wadikon and especially the main deacon tunakushukuru sana na Mungu azidi kukubariki na kutembea nawe. Ah uh, our religious men and women around we know you should be doing other things but you thought it's wise that you come and be with us. Asante. May God bless you. May God journey with you in your vocation. To our dear parents, kutoka kwa familia ya Eugene, our dear parents, kutoka kwa familia ya Peter, wa Fula, the family of Deacon Emmanuel Shikoni, and my family. We really appreciate na tunasema asante kwa kutulea katika imani mkatupeleka hata tukabatizwa na ni katika huo mwito wa batizo leo hii sisi wenyewe tunazidi kusema ndio kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na kwamba tunataka tumetumikia katika altari yake na katika watu wake. Kwa hivyo tunasema asante sana kwa wazazi wetu. the Ngoroi family. Ngoroi family is so big that many could not come today. We always have three masses in this church every Sunday. We have invited few so that they can give space for the others. Ngoroi family, the parish council, the choir, our youth and the PMC, and all the groups of our church. Muni tuwana tukija hapa Onesmas will tell you I, I, I saw you when you were a boy But now We are men <laughs> The real family You have seen us grow You have supported us in many ways And ours is only to say Thank you Thank you and may God Bless you And when I mention the real family I also recognize the presence of our outreach sessions and Bakita Marisha. You are here. Asante sana. Asante sana. To our friends from near and far, Mungu awazidishie ni kwa ajili ya kujitoa, ni kwa ajili ya kuja kwetu. The Tangaza family, I know some are here and others we are together in prayer tunasema asante sana to all people feel appreciated feel loved by the three priests newly ordained and the new deacon ordained and we say may God bless you may God walk with you and may you never lack asante tunombo wote tusimane kwa baraka ya mwisho Tunamisha kichwa zetu tuombe baraka ya Mungu Bwana awe nanyi Mungu aliyemwasishi na kiongozi wa kanisa awatengemeze kwa neema yake siku zote ili mtimize wajibu wenu kwa moyo mwaminifu Mungu aliyewapa mwenyewe mashema si kazi ya kuhubiri njili na ya kutumikia tare ni na watu awafanye kuwa hapa duniani mashahidi wake wenye moto moto na wahudumu wa upendo na ni mapadre Mungu awafanye muwe wachungaji halisi wanaoapatia waamini mkate wenye uzima na neno la uzima ili wakuwe katika umoja wa mwili wa Kristo
de mulher kusani kahapa Awa bariki mungu mwenyezi baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu Mendeni na amani Thank <laughs> you. 